he got good vision, I can see that already. Very good vision, physically strong, good technique, good foot. This is probably the only goal he scored. Wow! Are we going to keep him? This one, I don't know. Only Maestro Padre Pioli knows if we're gonna keep him. Because we really need people in the midfield. Defender, attacking, I don't care. We need more defender because next season we are not gonna have Bakayoko and we definitely we don't have Frank C. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a video. Today we're gonna check out together a little bit of the highlights and the stats of our new player called Yashin Adli or Adli. He's French, so I guess the accent is, goes as a Adli. Yashin Adli. We actually bought it in the 31st of August 2021. We announced it, uh, so Paolo Maldini bought it for 8 million of euro, and uh, he was playing at Bordeaux in France in uh, Ligue 1, and we left him for another season. Now let's check out a little bit his stats. So Yashin Adley, 1 meter 86, so it is quite tall, but it doesn't say the weight. But I saw from the picture uh, that it doesn't look very big, let's say. Also because he's very young, he's only 20 years old. Position is an attacking midfielder and he is playing for France under 20. That's good. So he's already in a national team. Good. Citizenship, French and Algeria. So he's gonna get along with uh, our beloved Ismael Benasser, also known as Mimo Benasser. So he, he is a professional player since 2015-2016. Uh, he's been playing in Paris Saint-Germain under 17 Paris Saint Germain under 19 Paris Saint Germain and then he went directly to Bordeaux and last year Paolo Maldini signed uh, Yashin Adli for 8 slash 9 million of euro he let him play another season in Bordeaux to build his uh, muscles and his bones and now he's back in Milan are we going to keep him this one I don't know only Maestro Padre Pioli knows if we're gonna keep him because we really need people in the midfield defender attacking I don't care we need more defender because next season we are not gonna have Bakayoko and we definitely we don't have Frank C. I guess Pioli is gonna keep a very close eye in between Yashin Adli and Pobega the other Milanista that came back from Torino after one season so it's all about them how much effort they're gonna put and let's see who is who deserve to play in the team champions of Italy? So last last season, Yashin Adli played 36 matches, scoring just one goal, but he had eight assists, which is quite good. And the year before, he played 35 matches, scoring twice with five assists. So I think it's slowly getting better. He probably still have to define exactly which position he want to play and especially which position Pioli want him to play. Is he gonna be playing like a, a central midfielder? Is he gonna be playing like attacking midfielder? Is he gonna play on the side? We don't know yet. We will see what Pioli has in mind. What I will say now, stop talking and let's watch some of his highlights because sometimes picture can tell us a little bit more about the way he plays. Also guys, keep in mind that he's been playing in the League One, which is not the most competitive uh, league in Europe at the moment so highlights are just to paint the best part about the, the, the players but the reality is how is he gonna react to a Serie A right let's dig in oh oh Tamil there you go 186 so he's quite tall this is probably the only goal he scored wow that's a goal This is against PSG. Look at that. He reminds me a little bit like, a, at least how he looks like, like a younger Rabiot. And I hate the Rabiot, guys. But this is much better than Rabiot. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 20 years old, guys. 20 years old. This is the goal against PSG. Look at that. It's quite elegant as he touched his technique it's quite good. The way he touched the ball it's quite good. Ooh. Let's go Yashin! Yachin! Chin Chin! Oh. 
Can he play on the side or just uh, like a number 10 behind uh, the strikers? Because uh, with our formation, I don't know where he can play, to be fair. Unless he's gonna, Pioli is going to let him play as a central midfielder. Because I remember also Benasser, he was playing behind the strikers in Empoli. But then he changed as a central midfielder. And sometimes still during the season, Pioli let him play behind the striker. Uh, this one, I think, is going to do the exactly the same. Great goal. Love it. He got a good foot. Right foot. Good technique. He's tall. He's probably going to, if he's work really hard, he's going to put some weight on. Good muscles on. He can become really, really, really good, this guy. Look at this. The vision. Look at the vision that he had. Again, another good vision here. Well played. He likes to dribble, eh? He likes to dribble like uh, Benasser. Like Mimo. Good! Fantastic. Oh, there you go. That's another good vision from uh, Adley. Good pass. Good cross. I'll tell you, if this guy put the same become physically become like Teo Hernandez it's gonna become very good I'm just watching the highlights so I and he is playing in League One so it's not the same but if he can put a lot of weight and a lot of hard work he got good vision I can see that already very good vision physically strong good technique good foot good look at that Good. Oh, that was good. Oh, boom. Super golasso. <laughs> With those hair, remind me a little bit uh, like a taller um, Tonali. Good goal. So he, he got free kick as well in his uh, resume. And he got a lot of paneca. A lot of... Uh, ciao. Yeah, Shinadley, hopefully you can do the best in Serie A. I wish you um, all the best to work really hard because it's not going to be easy next season. Uh, but uh, finger crossed, finger crossed, guys. I have a good feeling about this young man. Let's hope. Finger crossed. Let me know what do you think down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Ciao.